This is our first video on how to learn all the scales that you really need to know for rock music. And when I say rock, I mean rock, blues, pop, jazz, reggae, basically anything contemporary, I guess. Now we're going to start this one with your basic minor pentatonic. We're going to teach you how to play the scale shape. We're going to teach you how to change keys. Then over the series through all the different videos, we're going to uh, give you different exercises, learn harmonic minors, modes, and all those things as well. And also we're going to include backup tracks. So what you can do is every time you learn a scale and the exercises included with that specific um, module, being this one number one, you're going to put a back track on like this here, and you can jam with it. Sort of take it like that, or if you want more of a bluesy sort of take, same scale, same introduction. So it's not sort of a, a specific style generic study, it's more about getting to know all your scales, getting to know the positions, getting to understand keys, getting to put exercises to them. And basically getting to understand your guitar, where the notes are, how everything works, target notes. But enough talking, let's get into the very first scale shape now. Now I'm going to move the guitar a bit closer, so we're going to get to focus predominantly on your fretting hand. And if you're looking at your printout, the PDF that says scale step 1A, you'll see it says diagram 1, position 1 in A minor. Now my fingers are numbered over here, please make sure you use the same finger notation, the same finger sequence. And you're starting, if you're reading the diagram, fret number 5, that's what the red 5 is underneath the diagram. And your first note should sound like this. And there we go. The following note sequentially, starting from the bottom left to the bottom right, would go 5, 8. Then you go to the next string. And slowly but surely we work your way through the diagram. Now, if you're not sure how the diagram works or if this didn't explain to you well enough, please drop me a WhatsApp and I'll send you a dedicated how to read the diagrams. So with this over here, I'm assuming that you do understand the diagrams and that you can get straight into learning the scale shapes. Now I'm going to take it one more time, slowly up and down, in other words, ascending and descending. If you want to play through with me, you're welcome. Two, three, four. Notice the pinky was working there. And there you have position one in A minor, fret five and eight. That is known as your A minor pentatonic scale shape. Now to the left of us, we're going to have the following scale. This is the E minor pentatonic scale. Now you'll notice as you play through this, the shape is exactly the same. It simply starts by fret number 12. It normally has a double dot on top. You can see the two little double black dots there. All guitars have a double dot marked at fret 12. It shows that the first octave or the middle of the guitar. But let's do the scale, starting at fret number 12. 15, next string, 12, 14, 12, 14 again, 12, 14 once more, and then 12, 15, like that. And then if you reverse it, so if you want to play it through with me on the count of four, two, three, four, and... through the different series of the different videos we'll notice that your shapes all remain the same it's the positioning or the fret number from where we play the scale that determines the key so end of the day you're going to have one minor pentatonic scale that if you start from five it's a minor if you were to start it from fret seven b minor if you started it from fret eight c minor which is quite cool. So basically every time we change key, we don't have to look at a new scale shape. 
we simply move the scale position up and down. It's sort of like a slide rule. Now, if you're not sure what a slide rule is, I do have a video on slide rules as well, which I'll send to you. So if you'd like that, drop me a WhatsApp. But otherwise, let's go back to the key of A minor now, and we're going to pick up on the exercises. And with exercise 1i, it says ascending triplets with diagram 1. Now you'll notice I've color-coded them in groups of three. It's three blue notes, three red notes, three blue notes, three red notes. That's only to help us identify the triplets easier from a visual perspective. Now the opening three notes used, in the, well basically using position one we've just learnt, is going to look and sound like the slow motion. That is the tab I've written down here. Now just to get you going, that if you're not too sure how to read tab, that five that you're reading at the bottom left corner of exercise one eye says five, which means fret five on your lower E string, your sixth E string. It goes five, eight, eight means fret eight. And then the following five is no longer on that string, it's on the fifth string, the A5 string. So your first three notes, the first triplet. We got that. And now you're onto the red triplet, starting at eight on the sixth string. recognize the pattern or the concept and the concept over here is each triplet each three notes each triplet starts on the first well the first note of each triplet rather is the second note of the preceding triplet so it's sort of like counting one two three two three four three four five if I come a bit closer here maybe you can see it a bit easier and you can notice it's sort of another way of visualizing it because there's different ways to see it is that we're going one two three we go back a string or back a note one two three go back a note one two three back a note and so on but if you get the tab be aware of the repetition so you're sort of counting up three back a note up three back a note it's the concept that i'm busy chasing after here and once you've got that Exercise one double I says descending triplets with diagram one, which is going to look and sound like the slow motion. We got that. Now we're going to scroll across to exercise two I, which is hammer ons and pull offs. Now, a hammer on and a pull off is when you get two notes but you're only plucking one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the angle of the camera a bit so we can see the picking hand. And you'll notice over there the opening tab for exercise 2i says 7. You're going to pull off to the 5. So I'm not picking the 5. You can see my pick is hovering there. I'm simply flicking the third finger off and then going to fret number 8 with the pinky. So one more time the first three notes. Pick triplet is going to start with a hammer on from the five there's the five and you'll notice i simply hammer on the ring finger finger three onto fret seven and then pick the next note so to analyze this exercise you're going through from the beginning pick pull off pick pick hammer on pick and then that sequence follows through for this so every time for exercise two i the blue will be Pull off and the red would be hammer on. So the next triplet, the third triplet, or the second blue one, will be seven, five, seven, five, seven, five. So if you take them together and combine them, we have this. Okay, almost lost the last note there. <laughs> okay. And then if you're looking at the descending pattern, just zooming out a bit there so you can see the picking hand a bit. This is sort of reversing the concept, so instead of doing a pull off first, we're going to do a hammer on, and we're going to work from the higher pitch notes to the lower pitch. So your second exercise, now two double I, is going to be like this. We got that. Now, if we were to focus on changing it from the key of C, which is the same as A minor, we'll explain it later, We'd move everything up to fret number 12. 
And at fret number 12, we're no longer in the key of A minor or C major. We're now in the key of E minor or G major. Remember, the shapes remain the same. So here comes exercise 1i, but from fret 12. It's not written down, but you should be able to hear and recognize the similarity. And backwards. And then your hammer on and pull offs that we did as well. We're going to transpose those now also to the key of E minor and G. And again, starting at fret 12, you'll give a bit more head on view here so you can see them. Here we go ascending, pull off first. You can see the pull off there. Pick. So one more time. Repeating that, but descending. And to summarize this over here, what we've learned is that your scale shapes remain the same. You've also learned your minor pentatonic scales. Just to recap on that, we've also learned that you can move the minor pentatonic. So depending which fret you're at, if you're at fret three, it's G minor. If you're at fret number nine. You actually got C sharp minor, but this is just to prime you so that when we start going more into keys in that later, we'll understand what's happening. So to summarize what I want you to know for this now, you have learnt your A minor pentatonic, you've learnt the E minor pentatonic, it's your basic starting points for your scales, and you've learnt two exercises to apply to them. Now in the video to follow this, I'm going to just do a brief little jam with the track in the key of C A minor and then also do a jam for you in the key of G A minor but I'm going to jam along with the chords after that so you can play along see the chords I'm playing and try your own improvision so I'll see you on video number two shortly thank you